Hey, what's up guys? Today's video is pretty fresh because I'm filming this video on November 22nd from Munich, Germany. Um, for those of you guys who met me in Tokyo, November 10th event, uh, thank you for coming. Uh, I hope you made the most out of uh, time, energy, and the money uh, meeting me, uh, talking with me. I wanted to talk to you about uh, <clears throat> I think the current the best uh, best probably uh, strategy to maximize um, possibility to work and then live abroad while achieving work life balance and vacation time as a software engineer future software engineer. So my colleague um, <clears throat> graduated from uh, TUM T U M which stands for Technical University of Munich which is one of the best in, I think it's the best in Germany and also one of the best in Europe and uh, one of the top 20 for sure in the entire world in computer science. So he graduated from a uh, uh, university in India, worked for two years and he came to Germany, went to Technical University of Munich to study computer science masters so he studied two years in master's here for free. Uh, I, I told you, uh, universities in Munich, like Germany for master's is free, bachelor as well, in English. Of course, it was a little bit competitive because he needed to take TOEFL and also GMAT test, kind of like SAT, like English math test. But while he was in TUM, which was one of the best in Germany, he did an exchange exchange semester at a technical university in Switzerland, in Zurich, called ETH. It's called an ECO, ETH or ECO, technical something. But ETH is the best in Switzerland and also one of the best in the entire world in computer science. ETH probably ranks like top 10 for sure in computer science, more on the theoretical side. Um, the education is a little different. Um, in Europe and the United States. So all the high ranking universities in Europe like TUM and ETH are mostly focusing on theory. So they're good at algorithm, they're good at computer vision, they're good at machine learning, uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, so they're probably better at uh, producing researchers, but not necessarily uh, um, like AI, which can be integrated into uh, industry. In that case, probably American universities are much better because you know they have a startup, a startups and investment coming into companies and big companies. So uh, actual research and innovation are much more advanced in North America because of the in, uh, industry right there and the money. But in Europe, like they have more traditional research and then so it's a little different and it's not you know, it's not fast pacing in Europe because industry is not that big as big in like in the United States. But anyways, so he studied a term, master's. He did exchange while he was doing master's in Switzerland and Zurich. And that's kind of cool. You know, I got to ask him like, you know, oh, what it's like to work and live in Zurich or like study at ETH. Because you know what? There's a Facebook office in Zurich. Uh, primarily because the Facebook guys want to hire uh, graduates from uh, ETH uh, because they're one of the most uh, reputable professor teaching computer vision. And that's the reason why Facebook started uh, open the office for Oculus, the VR thing. See, the big companies usually open office near the, one of the best, you know, the best good universities. So Munich, Yes, because of the tomb. Zurich, yes, because of ETH. And of, of course, in San Francisco, because of Stanford, Caltech, UC Berkeley. New York, of course, because, you know, a, a lot of like an Ivy League. Same as in London. But anyways, so big companies' offices are usually around uh, universities where the top ed educations are available. But anyway, so Facebook is there, Google is there. So he, you know, and also I was thinking about, you know, getting a job, like a possibility to find a job and live in Zurich. 
But he told me Switzerland Zurich is a pretty small city. It's like 400, 500, 600,000 people, whereas Munich is like 1.3 million. So it's pretty small. And uh, also, I'm reading this on the forum as well, as uh, hearing from people here, local, that Southern Bavarian area, which is like Munich, southern part of Germany called the Bavaria, and also Zurich area is called the southern part. This area, people tend to be more conservative, conservative and uh, kind of like Japanese. They have their own groups of people and they don't really um, open up to new people, which is quite different from like a West Coast, North America. So Canada, United States, the West Coast line, like Seattle, Vancouver, California, they're much more laid back and open and diverse. And uh, so they're not that conservative. They're more open to new people, making friends, casual friends, easy, not necessarily the best friends. So even for Swiss locals, it's hard to make uh, friendships there. Um, and uh, if you are like a you know, university student, a master student or uh, professionals uh, moving to Zurich or Munich, it's hard to find a friend because people are more conservative. Their, their mindset is more inward instead of outward. So that's what he told me, my colleague. It's pretty uh, small people don't do anything. It's nature is beautiful, lake, but it's small city. So it's good to live there, like in terms of like, uh, you know, city safety and cleanness, blah, 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 medical thing. But aside from that, people don't really do anything like people don't really go out they do on a you know maybe friday saturday but like usually on the weekdays it's dead and uh yeah that social activity wise it's not that you know fluid uh and happening and uh i read on the internet that it's almost impossible or like it's so hard to make a uh, swiss local friends there even as a local swiss so even if if i come as there as a foreigner then it will be much more difficult same in munich as well you know other bit of uh, people here tend to be more conservative but i would say compared to vancouver vancouver people are conservative as well i mean like clicky exclusive they don't really yes among foreigners they make friends but local canadians not quite you know, so in a case, kind of similar, um, but Munich is much bigger than Vancouver, but double the size. So that's what I heard. But anyways, I wanted to talk to you guys about what you want to do, right? You want to take advantage of, you want to leverage free education for bachelor, possibly, and masters if you want to. And there are some German universities who teach bachelor degree in computer science in English. That's what you want to do. Because once you get a bachelor uh, in computer science education in English, then for free, right? For free in Germany, then you can get work visa for like two years. But also you have a, once you get bachelor degree, pretty much going to master's is pretty easy. Um, so yeah, um, you can do bachelor and master or you can do bachelor only and try to find a job. Um, and then get work visa and work life balance here is like minimum four or five weeks vacation, um, blah, blah, blah. And so, and then he told me that uh, he didn't want to go to the United States because of work visa situation. Also, Switzerland work visa is pretty tight, you know, and also permanent residency wise. He told me that he knew some people who were there living like, you know, seven, eight years, but still he cannot get, get uh, permanent residency visa. So they moved out to Switzerland, UK, United States, visa are pretty tight. So it's not a good idea to uh, invest money and time if you want to live and work in that country in the long term. So if you want to work and live long term, then you might want to choose like Canada or Germany or um, that's those are the, the countries that I know most. But uh, you could do... Um, uh, uh, Netherlands, Amsterdam as well because they uh, offer um, I think free education as well as uh, in English for sure because Dutch people speak English much better uh, also they are uh, uh, thriving uh, software industry so so you want to think about Germany as the top and then next biggest uh, cities to work as a software engineer is 
Not quite London because of work visa situation, but Amsterdam is pretty big. Berlin, Munich, Munich, Berlin, Amsterdam, and also Scandinavian countries like Sweden, Oslo, but they would be much smaller than Amsterdam or Munich, Berlin. With that said, um, I think that free education is the biggest thing and also pretty easy work visa situation in Germany. So um, do look for a bachelor in CS degree in English. There is a website called dad.de. D, dad means D A A D dot D E, right? D A A D dot D E. Look for a bachelor of CS in English. If you can get to the university, then you can save six, sixty, seventy thousand dollars, right? I paid sixty, seventy thousand dollars for Canadian university for four or five years. That could be less than if you study in Germany. That would be like maybe two thousand dollars, <laughs> right? It's big. It's big. And also, if you get work visa in Germany and you get a job here, of course, salary is not going to be as high as in the United States. But you know what? You get work in life balance and then medicals and everything. You know, so it depends on what you want to focus on. You want to just make a lot of money short term. Go to United States, but however, how many years can you work with the OPT? You know, how much stress you need to, how much stress you need to stand, put up with while working in the United States, right? And there are other costs as well. San Francisco, it's not that artsy. Um, commute is pretty terrible rent is pretty high so it doesn't really add up to like quality of life here in germany for example with that said um if you have any questions let me know this is a patreon exclusive video so yeah hope you enjoyed it i'll see you guys next time bye bye